Air Canada Flight 135 to Calgary. Bye bye. Alright, so I've made it to beautiful Canmore and I am just unboxing my bike. It seems to have made it through security uh, intact. I had to uh, tape it up for them because uh, they searched it and bomb swapped it. So I am just uh, unpacking it now and I'm going to reassemble it. Okay, so the bike's assembled. Now I'm in the garbage room. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut up the box, get rid of the box, and then I'm free of the box. And then I just have like three giant bags to deal with. Um, yeah, it's been a bit of a shotgun wedding here really quick, trying to get everything done. Uh, one of the, it looks like this, there's some wobble in my front wheel, so I might take that in and try to get the spokes trued. Um, yeah, but, uh, it's good to be here. All right, so we're taking care of business here in Canmore. Now, masks are no longer required inside uh, in Alberta, but um, I don't know. I was on a plane today. Seems like the right thing to do. Um, yeah, so food shopping is done. We made some repairs on the bike. Uh, the front wheel was out of true. Um, for an absorbent fee, they trued the front wheel for me and crimped on a little crimpy thing. I'm gonna have chicken and broccoli tonight. Mount Rundle. Scott's tip. Mount. Princess Margaret. Lady McDonald. I'm gonna go check out Cougar Creek right now. Uh, going for a little run. Get the legs going. And it's the end of day one. Everything went well. Forgot my glasses. Those are gonna be shipped out. So that's good. Uh, the hostel behind me. A Ling, Miner's Peak, Mount Lawrence Grassy, Ship's Prow. Oh, I can't believe I'm finally here. This has been, this is the best evening run ever. Look at the view. Golly! Trans Canada Highway. So I had read the reports of this debris retention project and I just ran up here to come see what uh, it was all about. So they're blasting the rock to uh, build this debris retention something or other dam. Uh, this is Cougar Creek here. It's Lady McDonald. It's Grotto. Uh, yeah, so I was hoping to do uh, the traverse of the piece that way but not today obviously um, but at some point but it looks like the marine the marine the montane traverse is still there which goes uh, below tree line across uh, the lower slopes of lady mcdonald so um, i know there is a route up to lady mcdonald from there because i went up the gully uh, a few two years ago so a year ago after climbing I don't even remember what we climbed. Temple? Something? I don't even remember. Anyway, the next day I did a rest day walk around and I ended up hiking through the horseshoe trail and uh, I found a chair. And I took a nap on the chair and I waypointed the chair and the chair is still here and I promised myself I would come back to this chair and take a nap on it one day. Today is not that day, but it's still here so the nap, the dream is still alive. That's pretty cool. I come back here and take another nap. Yeah, so I'm just doing a run. I'm in 3.3 uh, kilometers. I've done 100 meters of vert. Um, just to wake the legs up, get the hip. My hips were really bad getting off the plane. They were popping and cracking. I was making all sorts of weird noises. Um, yeah, four hours of sitting. I haven't done that in a very long time. Definitely in bear country now, so I've been making noises. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna head back now. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a really good day. 
I'm glad I'm finally here. I'm ready for whatever's going to come the next uh, few months. So, very excited. Very excited to be here and living out the dream that I came up with about a year ago. So, very excited. Very excited. Maybe I don't have to worry about the bears because of the screaming people. I can name every peak that I can see except that one. One day, one day, one day I'll get them all. One day I'll get them all. All right. That's the quick way, but not the best way. Uh, yeah, back to the hostel. Back to the hostel, yep. 